joining me? Every time I go to film a podcast, she wants to get in it. I think you know your YouTube famous, or YouTube appreciated at least. Good morning. It is Thursday and I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. I know, my tea nearly went everywhere then. She looked a bit alarmed as well, that came out of nowhere. It's Thursday, as I just said, and I am about to film a podcast with a cat on my lap, apparently, uh, for my knitting and crochet channel, which is uh, Little Drops of Wonderful. Uh, I usually post on there once a week with either a full roundup of things I've been making, knitting, crochet, cross-stitch, sewing, that kind of thing. I do make-alongs, but I also do vlogs and about my making week and so on. She's trying to get into my knitting basket now. Uh, yeah, so I probably won't be posting over there once a week whilst I'm doing April vlogs here. So I'm in no way prepared. Normally I make really, really good notes so I know what I want to talk about, don't want to miss anything out, blah, blah, blah. But I haven't done that at all because it's come upon me so quickly. So I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. I had a lovely early night last night. I had a lovely snuggle with Phoebe and we just had a chat. Um, we had fun on the Nike website because <laughs> Phoebe needs new trainers so we were just looking just plain black Nike trainers she wants but there was a function on the Nike um, the official Nike website where you can customise your own pair of Air Force ones oh, we had a lot of fun doing that we did I'll put the link underneath it's not, not a sponsored thing but it, honestly I couldn't tell you I, how much fun it was designing our own pair of trainers. I'm tempted to order them. <laughs> I wonder if I, if I can, I'll put up a picture of the pair I designed. Probably a acquired taste. Right, this cat is now making biscuits on my leg. Aren't you? Yeah. Kneading the dough on my leg. I'm gonna put a cushion on my lap so you can settle down. And then I'm gonna film a podcast and I'll see you on the other side. Ugh. That's done. It's now 10 o'clock. I've no idea when I started, but I've got a horrible feeling that's going to be one big editing job. So I am going to get started on that now. I still haven't finished editing the vlog that has to go up today. So I might do that first. Have another cup of tea, my third of today. And also, I have to say, I had lemon drizzle cake for breakfast this morning, which felt very decadent and very fun, but does not fill you up. Do not do that, kids. It's not good for you. Have something more nutritious. So I'm going to need something a bit more nutritious as a snack now. I just swapped it round because normally I might have a nutritious breakfast and then have some lemon drizzle cake mid-morning. So I have my lemon drizzle cake for breakfast and now I'll have something more nutritious mid-morning. That's how I'm balancing it out. Uh, I'm going to get as much editing done as I can. I've got to wake Phoebe up in about 20 minutes and then I've got to run her about not until lunchtime. Then I've got to go and do lots of shopping for the party this weekend, for Lilia's 18th birthday party. So I've got a few hours to get, hopefully, all the editing done. Let's see how I get on. Before I get started on editing, I noticed that I've had a few little questions about the residents of our back garden. So it's time to give them their seeds. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Just going to check on the pond. Oh, can't see the froggies in there. They're probably hiding. There's snails there. Yeah, lots of, we've got lots of pond snails turned up. They'll feed something, won't they? So Dan's giving them their seed. So I will flip the camera around. So here we go. You may notice a slight change. Here's Peggy. Watch, I can make Peggy dance. <laughs> <laughs> so look how healthy she is. Oh my goodness. So you can tell how healthy a chicken is by the colour of their comb. Bright, bright red right now. She's such a happy chooker. And even our little Mizzorg over here. Hey, hey. He was mistrustful and hates everything and everyone. But look how beautiful she is. However, sadly, you will see that's it because we lost our Cloudy. We lost Cloud, who was our friendliest, happiest, loveliest, cuddliest chicken. She got up one morning, she had her breakfast, she had a bock about, 
Dan came down 45 minutes later to check for eggs and she was dead. And she was otherwise completely like these two the day before. So she lived happily and healthily right up to her last and we have no idea what caused her to um, perish. perish. Uh, but yeah, so she is, we had her cremated because we are ridiculous. But these two are now living in a kind of, so Cloud was head chicken, she was like the, the boss girl. These two are now living in some kind of happy hippie commune existence. They're, 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 they're quite happy. It's just started raining. It's nice and dry in here though. Dinosaur egg. That's a peggy egg. That's a massive egg. It's huge. And it's raining. Yes. Lock this up. Hi girls. I am going to clean the kitchen. I've, I've done really well with my editing. I have edited all of my vlog and that's uploading now, ready for later. And I've nearly finished editing the podcast as well. I've got to clean up this mess though. Lilia's over here making more mess. Morning, Lilia. Morning. Uh, it, well, it's not morning, it's 10 past 12 and she's uh, making some brunch. Phoebe's upstairs getting ready because I'm going to go and drop her to meet a friend and then I'm going to go and do the shopping. But first I'm going to have some lunch. I've got some leftover prosciutto crudo cappelletti. Ham and cheese pasta. <laughs> Which I'm going to have uh, for my lunch. Uh, but while the water's heating up, I'm going to whiz around and empty the dishwasher and listen to my book. I'm listening to the second in the Six Wives series by Alison Weir, the Anne Boleyn story. Oh yeah, I know that one. You've finished Medea now, haven't you? Oh, finally. Finally finished Medea. Finally. And you are now reading My Roommate is a Vampire. My Roommate is a Vampire. Phoebe and I are both having one of my favourite chewing gums. She said, I'm going to park now. Extra refreshers. Tropical flavour. I'm going to drop you to meet your friend, aren't I? Yeah. Now I'm going to go and buy oodles of crisps. Not for me. And sausage rolls. For Lilia's friends. For Lilia's friends. And you, you're going to be at the party too. Man just walked past with a pizza. Where's he going with that? I don't know. So many crisps. <laughs> so many fizzy drinks. Bin bags, lots of kitchen roll, some beer, orange juice, biscuits, popcorns there somewhere. <sighs> I'm hungry. My house is carnage. Uh, it's now half past four. I have been to Aldi's, I've been to Sainsbury's, I popped home to put things in the freezer. I went to Asda's, then I got the call to go and pick up Phoebe and her friend. So I picked them up, I've just got in the door unloaded everything and everything is everywhere everything's a mess so i'm going to put in my book i'm going to make myself a little snack because i'm hungry i'm going to have some rovita i think with some laughing cow mm, yum and then i'm going to tidy up Watcha, as we say in South London, <laughs> or we used to say in South London in the 80s. I, uh, have, I'm just back from an hour long round trip to drop Phoebe and her friend to football training. From there they are going to her friend's house for a sleepover, so I'm done with running around for the evening. Dan's out for a beer tonight after football training with the other managers, with the other um, coaches and so on. So it's just me and Nilia, I'm about to do our dinner. Uh, but yeah, it would normally take 
all of about 20 minutes at the very most to do that trip but there was a problem on the local motorway and everything was at a standstill so it's just taken me over an hour to do that and I got back very quickly did my thumbnail and got my vlog for today uploaded a little bit later than I would have liked especially given that I had actually uploaded and had it ready to go first thing this morning uh, but I had to do all the bits around it like the title and the thumbnail and all the bits that require brain power so I had to do that and it's now 10 past 7 and Lily and I still haven't eaten so she is currently watching Dairy Girls which I've never seen and every time I walk in there something hilarious is happening and it looks fantastic so I think I'm gonna have to watch that myself Dan and I will probably have to watch it because he's not seen it either so before I show you what we're having for dinner I figured I'd better do the song of the day and I put on my shake it off playlist on my way back to shake off all the running around that I've had to do today some days just aren't your own are they and that's been one of those days uh, it's not been a bad day. What song could I choose from that playlist? So one of the ones that was playing on the way back is one that I really, really like to sing along to. It's a very positive song um, and it's gin ginger representation as well. And <laughs> my own father um, was very much a very, very, very bright redhead. So I feel we need to represent for him. So it's an Ed Sheeran song and it is called... I don't know what it's called. Hang on a minute. I don't know the actual title of the song. Ah, oh, right. What Do I Know by Ed Sheeran. It's a really, I think it was originally a Children in Need song and it's a really positive one. And I love singing along to it in the car. Put it on, turn it up loud whilst you're making the dinner, which is precisely what I'm going to do. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me Why is the light so funny? One moment, please doesn't matter where I hold it, the light's really weird. That was lovely. The Itsu broth, not as nice as the broth I make from my cookbook. We make. Hmm? We, make. we make, yeah, Lily has learned to make it. I have a, the Guacalan one uh, Chinese fake away vegetarian book and the broth in there that we make is much, much nicer than the Itsu one. But the Itsu one is very nice. But the gyozas which were Audi's own, and you cook them in the microwave from frozen, which I was a bit like, really? Were delicious, really good. Lilia liked the duck and hoisin sauce ones, and I preferred the chicken ones. Can you hear slurping in the background? <laughs> that is the sound of someone eating their most favorite cuisine. Yes. You do like your ramen, don't I you? I do, I do. Would, would you say ramen over pizza or pizza over ramen? Or is that just an impossible choice? Don't know. I have to go back to you. <laughs> By the way, I changed my top. Oh, it's even worse here. I'm just going to move it far away. I changed my um, jumper earlier. I kept meaning to say I changed my jumper because my ranunculus jumper my knitted one that I was wearing was so hot so I put this on because it's thinner but then I was like this isn't very springy this jumper I need to go shopping cheers it's half past eight the dishwasher is on the kitchen is cleaned dinner is all done dusted and tidied up from 
and I then went upstairs, put my pajamas on, and realised that our bed needed making because we stripped it and washed everything this, this morning. Dan was supposed to make it, and he hadn't. So I've just done that. I've made my lunch, and I am now going to go and sit down with Lilia and chill out for a bit. I'm, I still haven't tidied up for my podcast. There's stuff all over the living room, but I think that's just going to have to wait for tomorrow night after work. And I think on that note, I'm going to say, yes, I am having a glass of wine on school night. I don't care. It's been a day. I've earned it. And I'll see you tomorrow for Friday. <laughs>